Sonic State here at NAMM 2020 and we're here with Corey at one of our favorite pedal makers, Earthquaker Devices. Hey, good to see you again, man. Yeah, man, good to see you too. And you've got some cool new things to show us today. Yeah, yeah, we do. So our first offering right now is our life pedal that we did with the band Sun in collaboration with them. Is this the loudest band on, in the universe? Pretty much. I remember when they came and uh, recorded at our facility, they were so loud, the back, the screws on the back of the cabinets were backing out. <laughs> they had to get re repaired a little bit. <laughs> cool. So, so you've collaborated, and what is it? It's like a kind of fuzz, an oct octave fuzz? Yes. Yeah, so what we have is a uh, an uh, analog monophonic fu uh, octave that goes into a distortion, and at the tail end, we have a booster, a clean boost, and then an expression pedal control to bring in the octave or bring it out. Okay, can you give us a little demo? Yeah, let's give us a little taste. It's pretty, pretty it's pretty gnarly. It's yeah. really a lot of fun to bring in that octave and just start making it spit. Uh, manipulate all the overtones that you're doing, especially on the big chords with like the fifth on the bass and everything. Just sounds, it's so fun to play. So what, what do you think the collaboration with Sun actually uh, brought? What, 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 what was the, the direct result of that? Well, what we're trying to do with them was for their album that had just come out, Life Metal, uh, they, we wanted to pretty much recreate the tone that they were trying to capture on that album. And I think pretty much Jamie nailed it when he designed the circuit. Yeah, great. So other than, uh, other than the, uh, the life pedal, there is the, what's this now, the Afterneath. Yeah, we have a version 3 Afterneath. Version 3 Afterneath, excellent. So what that's coming uh, off of is we now have our Afterneath uh, synth module for Eurorack. Ah. And a lot, some of the features from the Eurorack module we put out, we put into the Afterneath pedal format. So just, uh, just briefly, what is the Afterneath? So what the Afterneath is, is it's a cavernous reverb that's made up of many different tiny delay lines that with the diffuse knob, you can either make those delay lines audible as delays or smear the transients of them, creating much more of a reverb. So we can demonstrate that if we Let's want. Let's do, yeah. So in that, you can hear the note hitting. And ba -ba -da -da -da. so now we're going to smear the transients with the diffuse knob turning clockwise. So now it's much more of a reverb. We're not really hearing all those different delays happening. So we also have control over the general length of the reverb. The reflect knob is essentially a feedback knob that is regenerating those delay lines back into itself, much like a delay pedal. Mm -hmm. The dampen knob is an overall tone, so the more clockwise you uh, turn it, uh, the darker it gets. Right, right, right. And then uh, we have a mix, and then the, the drag knob. So what we did with the drag knob, which was highly requested, is we added an expression pedal control. Mm. So now with your foot, you can manipulate the drag and also, coming from the module, we have nine different modes that we're able to quantize the drag knob sweep. Ah, yeah, so okay. in this mode, we have it just as the normal afterneath. Then we have, uh, that's unquantized. Now we have unquantized with slew on the second, which has a like, little drag to your uh, immediate motion on the knob. Then there's unquantized, one volt per octave, then we have a chromatic scale, we have a natural minor scale, a Lydian scale, pentatonic, octaves and fifths, and octaves. Ah, oh, cool. Can you demonstrate any of these? Yeah, let me, I'll demonstrate uh, how it's functioning normally, and then we'll kind of step through and see what's going on. Let's do that. So, move 
moving that control there, would that be mimicking what the expression pedal would be doing? Yeah, yeah. Right now, uh, our expression pedals took a took a crap on us, so we're waiting to get some more out. Okay. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna go with uh, unquantized with SLU. And you can see the lights change. Oh, the lights change. Show you when you change the mode. When I uh, turn the knob, it takes a little bit. There's a delay to the actual effect of the signal. Then we have a uh, one bolt per octave. So essentially, we have a lot more of a sweep going on. Yeah. Then we get into the different scales. You really want to get that on an expression pedal, don't you? Oh, for sure, yeah. What's really cool too is we have, uh, it now has tails, so, and it, our flexi switch technology. For this next one, I'll have it off, and just get the flexi switch, and be able to turn it off and be able to play over a long pad. Overdrive, like kind of a uh, patty kind of tones. and availability. Uh, so is the life pedal available now? Uh, yeah, it's going out to dealers now, uh, and that's going to come in at two four, $249. And uh, our after needs will be coming out in April, uh, I think April 6th if I'm not mistaken, and we have that actually at $199 now. Okay. So we're able to drop the price a little bit as well. Excellent. That's good yeah. news. Okay. Well, Corey, thanks so much for showing us. Yeah, always good to see you. Thanks a lot, man. Good to see you, buddy.